thank you chairpersons basically just after amit it has become quite easy we have we have introduced specifically the system we all know what is ai so the topic allotted to me was ai in emr for diabetes management the next step to precision medicine precision medicine at present we all know is the new term to be talked it is we are talking about the future being futuristic sometime it it is the person who is understanding you is he potent to understand the things or not so do all of us in this hall understand ai after lecture of amit at least we have a focus artificial intelligence it is artificial intelligence not intelligence intelligence is your mind who has made it everything is made by the brain itself try to discover inside your brain your thoughts your decisions your compiling nature your collaborations your algorithm perceptions so this is a precised precision precise what i say already precised will be the future but from where from your mind itself it is not from outside nothing is from outside whatever might it be it is electricity might it be it is the software might be the computers the gadgets from where it is coming out it is always coming out from the brain itself as the neuronal system of our brain we are trying to produce the same type of a structure outside as our colleagues were talking about synaptic attachments they are talking about artificial intelligence why because it is inside our brain it is coming out so never and ever it should be thought our profession is going to be replaced by artificial intelligence or precision medicine is going to take a part of a consultant no not at all i think so it will evolve day by day and we all will be evoluting ourselves into the new era of treating people with only precise medicines so precision my slides will not be much 15 slides at disclosure in next so what is precision medicine the definition says the national institute of health nih us define precision medicine as emerging approach emerging approach to disease treatment prevention that takes into account individual variability in genes now getting more deeper at present we are dealing with glycemic variability in top but now it will be genetic variability also this is precision medicine going more deeper into diagnostics prognostics and therapeutic approach while giving any treatment so environment and lifestyle will also play a role in prevention so prevention of prevention of any type of disease will be prevention precision medicine moving further these are the current definitions current medical practice we use the vital signs today relative to to the last visits that is all all emrs or electronic health records which we are having we just assess by the today's records and what he was having the values previous so this is currently which we are practicing now personalized medicine collect and analyze extensive information about that person and then accordingly you change your decision now what is precision excessive amount of data as amit was talking he has we have to show our data we are protecting our data why we are protecting our data that these pharma people should not know or people should not know it is not like that try to make the norms after proper permission this data should be sent to the cloud otherwise we practicing in our area our genetic coding our genomes will never be encoded and mind you the feature will be the precision medicine will take part and it, it is already laid the phase of things have already started so try to share your data onto the clouds into the particular safe hands but store your data somewhere it is going to help the humanity in coming near future so use massive data network that aggregates and analyzes information from huge patient cohorts healthy populations experimental organisms and reach towards the disease mechanism this medicine will be talking about the disease mechanism much rather than diagnosis as well as treatment so prevention part will improve how to prevent diabetes that will increase more so in summarizing this was a beautiful slide i got on net so yesterday what was it our all seniors our learned people all all our professors were having symptom based what what we did with covid we didn't had any any type of diagnostics we didn't have very good experiences but symptom based so the old things came out no we never know what will be coming the next so symptom based 
and then intuitional medicines intuition based your decision was what will happen now when this is now precisely into algorithms now we have graphs and data so pattern based and the evidence based medicine which we are practicing today evidence earlier it was mind you fasting postprandial hba1c but now it is ambulatory glucose profile flash glucose monitors life sensors earlier it was a retinoscope or you can say a fundal camera which was held in the hand of a fundoscope which was held in the hand of an opt optician only now it is ai intelligence giving report very precise and very diagnostic so now the technology is improving how it has happened by algorithm based studies so tomorrow algorithm based studies will be there this is precision medicine and definitely your hand will be telling you will be having a glass in early morning you will get up and when you will look at the glass it will tell your temperature it will tell your heart rate it will tell your sugar it will tell your each and everything will be given by your face itself the mirrors will be like this and it is it is it is the future which i am talking and it will be there so not one size fits all this is an important which we should keep in our mind and the practice will be more 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 fine which we practice today also then an ideal objective precision medicine in diabetes these are objectives which have to be kept in mind while designing or motivating people to understand medicine so it should improve the diabetes diagnostics establishes what evidence we have and what evidence is needed to develop best practice guidelines and best practice study designs then provide education to implement best practice guidelines and best practice research also establish a research program to address open questions the forum should not be closed it should be both sided the person who is sitting on the that side of the table can ask the question and have the queries also accelerate the process of getting access to the trials and regulatory authorizations not only suppose i have a trial on my name not only i can access this there should be authorization any people who is getting to have research for that he should have an authority and by a process he can reach to that trial and he can understand and other further he can do the more trials near modified guidelines to incorporate new recommendations are needed for precision medicine this is an american diabetic association specifically the path of precision medicine type 2 diabetes it is a future it is the future you can take the snapshot of this slide all the people who all my friends back home who are listening in this hybrid mode definitely this is the future just we should try to understand specifically understanding and def definitely the disease risk factor mechanism and natural history then identifying disease by specific biomarkers and then quantifying all the data into graphs and algorithms will and then regulatory engagement specifically regulatory engagement can be any person of your society might be dr bharat is there rutul is there dr uh, mm, 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 uh, your uh, amit is there all anyone any one person all over and they can be a regulatory authority but you have to initiate on your part american diabetic association at present is also offering some forms if you want to be the part they are doing the things they have done it the first phase the study has already been done now they are into second phase and second phase is also progress so regulatory authorities then patient engagement is must clinician education then again most important is economic evolution our pharmaco economics in india at present doesn't permit it but definitely the future is bright as the third party involvement and the systems are coming it will be very much easy to cope up with this also in near coming future and then patient feedback so these are some transition of precision medicine which american diabetic association has done then it will come the decision will be on part of therapeutics can be in part of protection prevention so in part of precision therapeutics there are two arms precision for prevention and precision for treatment or you can say cure also might be a very early term i am using but it can be with that amount of data the prevention may be a cure also so for prevention of uh, for precision and prevention you need to avoid specific risk factors then lifestyle intervention and definitely monitoring monitoring is common in all the aspects while it is diagnostic while it is prognostic while it is therapeutic monitoring of any of the disease is very much mandatory which will generate data and this emr which we are using in our clinic is going to generate 
a potential data which will be a key path for precision medicine in future now precision medicine what it can do it can omit the demise of a particular person earlier interventions will be available proper prognostic diagnostic tools will be available what will happen today if i will give this medicine to him he will be having a cure today i will give this medicine to him he will not be having anything aisa hota hai na today what we are giving we are giving paracetamol to everyone but one or two or three three or four people ha have some side effects with paracetamol some we are giving diclofenac some people have some people do not have some people have good effect some people do not affect today we are we, we don't know whom are the persons whom we have to give diclofenac whom acyclofenac whom we have to give some paracetamol only but in near coming future just when he will be entering your clinic with his genomic conditions it will be written don't give him paracetamol don't give him bovran he will be shooting to acyclofenac so you will choose the right drug with least toxicity and best benefits and then definitely cerebral vascular disease retinopathy cardiovascular disease nephropathy and neuropathy these all things can be prevented micro and macro vascular complications are coming these are prognostic and specifically if you take intervention as early today also in your point of care if you have a retinal examiner if you have a neuropathic examiner if you have albumin creatinine ratio facility can you can we not give best facilities this is ai this is ai and the data on on this basis will generate the precision medicine next precision diagnostics definitely epidemiological evaluations probability based clinical features and diagnostic testings leads to sub classification of several type of uh, uh, your diagnostics and diagnostics will lead to the further treatment and protocols now this is the work which is being planned and has been performed so phase 1 has been completed it was starting it it has started in 2018 and in 2020 it completed task force has been recruited task force meetings have been done stakeholders holders have been engaged identified milestones have been done draft and published first consensus have been done and recruit global experts have been done this has already been done today what we are listening in 2018 it was done why to lag behind why not right now we just take a pledge we, that we will learn this medicine more precisely so that in next coming year when we will be over here the the the, the ray of the hope will increase more now phase 2 which is still going on there are meetings plan stakeholder funding is going on applications are been taken then phase 4 2028 13 it has become 23 now coming to the same way 33 63 will also come but definitely we have to lay the foundation stone of precision medicine and it will not take the part of a physician it is coming out from the brain of the physician it is not it is going to replace those people in those era will be having more brain or more thoughts than us they will take part of it so it is impossible that it will take part of us we will take the part of it so what will happen a simple example giving these are some purple people some yellow people and some gray people right from childhood adolescence adulthood mid life and old age the food can be described according to this medicine there are some algorithm input output raw data then algorithms then your curves and test datas will will give exact exact which type of food will be suiting which type of person so this is precise the treatment this was an example which i produced in front of us now as i was talking when we give certain medicine to a group of people what is had it has toxic effect but beneficial it has no effect and no it has no toxic effect and no beneficial effects also and in some group it is having no toxicity but but best beneficial effects we will be learning right from the first day so side effects will be omitted this is precision medicine no side effect of a drug will be complete achievement of precision medicine but intuition will be ours itself whom to give whom not to give final decision will be taken by the consultant itself mothers can never be replaced and a doctor is supposed to be just like a mother who gives a care he can never be a god i think so we should never be termed as gods what i tell to my people we are not gods we are just like mother we take care each and every part of your body we can sponge you 
we can clean you we can give medications to you we can hug you also even some despite when people are not around you so we are just like your mother we are not gods so precision medicine is definitely not going to replace the doctors but it will act more precisely more motherly nature will come out so this is all coming out from our brains not from outside no alien and in, 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 any intelligence has given us this that we are talking about artificial intelligence it is out of someone's brain so discovery is inside you have to discover the brain the things will come out more now engagement of people has to be done clinical researches allocation and capacity buildings are there this is also an example just one minute this is an example when we have clusters hba1c we rate the medicines we have the algorithms we decide the treatment according to hba1c ranges pre diabetic diabetic uncontrolled diabetic and we have medications effects but it is not real like this HbA1c may be 6.5 to less than 8. HbA1c may be 8 or less than 10. HbA1c will be more than 10. But integrated data will be defining the mode or the actual cause of diabetes, which is something else. Which is something else. The diagnostic part is not easy. This will be made easy by precision medicine. talking about monogenic diabetes or type 2 diabetes varied classifications can be done so this is specifically in near coming future this precision medicine will make us more precise and best so yes artificial intelligence in emr for diabetes management is the next step for precision medicine at present emr has to be evolved in each and every diabetic clinic because it helps the humanity and makes a right decision for them so these are some diabetes digital partner industry people who are acting at present and collecting ai data all throughout the world in several aspects a simple one slide struck all each and everything is clearly seen every bit of data is being collected all throughout whatever so is and in last this will never fade out napo to jano शक्कर से ज्यादा मीठी है जिंदगी ये कभी भी फ्यूचर में फेड आउट नहीं होएगा सो चेक टू नो थैंक यू